Hello and welcome to another Construction Toy Dude show. Today we are looking at LEGO Minifigure Series 16 blind bags. Yes, whilst other channels are looking at Series 17... Oh, whoops, there goes my phone! Sorry about that interruption, as I was saying. While other channels are looking at the LEGO Batman movie blind bags, I'm still on Series 16. That's how far behind I am. So I've got five of these bags. Let's tear them open and see which minifigures we get. I say tear them open, I'm actually going to use scissors. Oh, looks like we have an archer here. Let's put him together. This is figure number 11 from the series and he's called Rogue. Rogue, nothing to do with Rogue One of course. Um, let's see if we can bring him a bit closer, get him in focus. There you go. He's got a bow and arrow. He's got a wee quiver on his back there for spare arrows. If I remove his weapon, let's have a look at the printing on his torso. Very detailed there. I like the wee wolf head brooch which is holding his sash in place. A wee waistcoat and very detailed belt buckle. Take off his mask and hat. He's got a good pair of sideburns. Turn him around, take the quiver off, have a look at the back printing. There we go. Just a single-sided expression and that's the back printing. There's some nice detail there as well. Two-tone legs, uh, two-tone on this arm as well, red and green. He's Obviously a Michael Jackson tribute act because he's wearing a single glove. Not really, of course. The glove is to help him get a better grip on the arrow when he's drawing it back to fire. Uh, that improves his aim. Uh, I'll probably actually kit him out with a sword and shield rather than the bow and arrow. I think he'd look better like that. But this is a brilliant figure. Very pleased with it. Uh, let's move on and open another bag. And you can't see because it's out of frame. There we go. Now this looks like the hiker and his head has just rolled away. I think this is an outstanding figure. Look at the detail and the printing on his torso, uh, on his legs as well. Plus you've got the two coloured legs and you've got a new backpack piece which is bigger than the previous brown one. Uh, the previous one, I think, started life in the Pirates range way back in the uh, early 90s. Anyway, uh, you've got a bigger top section here which re represents a sleeping mat that has been rolled up and packed away. Um, he also comes with two accessories. First is a compass. Now this is a clear one by one flat tile and printed on it is a decal there to represent the face of the compass. In case he gets really lost, he also comes with a map there. If you look at his face, he's looking a bit worried, so he must be lost at the moment. But don't worry, when he finds his way, you can turn him round to his happy expression there. See, he doesn't have to spend a night on the mountain worrying about orc attacks anymore. I should just mention that the hiker is figure number six in the series. Moving swiftly on to the third bag. <laughs> Sorry about the weight. There we go. Who have we got in this one? Um, I don't know. Oh, he's got a sword. That's a good start. And more dual printed legs. Here's the body. Ah, I think this is a desert warrior. Yes, it is. Fantastic. We turban there. And his massive scimitar. Ah, you wouldn't mess with him, would you? Chop your head off in no time. Uh, there's another piece coming to this, which... Uh... Oh no, it's another Shopkins. These things... Ah. Okay, no more Shopkins, less services resumed. Moving on to... I've lost count now. Which bag is this? This is bag four. Go 
Come on. Oh, now this looks like the cyborg. I like this one a lot as well. There we go, more fantastic printing on her legs, on her armour. And uh, let's take off the hair so you can appreciate the face fully. It's like, well, I'm not quite sure how to describe that, but I guess it's kind of circuitry printing on her face. And it's got two-tone hair, streaks of silver there. Uh, she comes with a gun, just a standard Lego sci-fi gun, but it has one of the new round one-by-one -one studs that's missing the centre, so you can fit it reverse ways onto the gun barrel, like so. Uh, she is another Michael Jackson tribute act. There, one single glove. And her weapon can be clipped onto one of the two holders on her backpack. I think I'm going to give her another gun so she can have one in each. Uh, now one dis- ah, the stud's gone, never mind. I'll find that later. One disappointing thing about this figure is take off her armour and the body of the torso is just plain. And that's a bit a bit cheap, I think. Anyway, the arms make up for it by having side print on the right arm and nothing on the left arm, but I'm guessing the right arm is meant to be a cybernetic one and the left one is more of a remaining humanity. So, all in all, yes, I like her very much, even though I've just taken her to pieces. Cyborg is number three in the series, and I was so distracted by that bloody Shopkins turning up that I forgot to mention the Desert Warrior is figure number two. One more blind bag left. Ah. Where is this? Oh, I think this is the spy. Here he is, ready to commit espionage. Uh, his head is single expression, but he does come with this nice microphone printed on. He also has a Lego Agents logo printed on his torso, uh, to remind us of that much lamented range. He comes with a nozzle gun, and this plastic thing which is meant to represent a coiled rope. Uh, unfortunately, you can't uncoil it or use it or anything, so you just have to use your imagination. Um, on his back, he comes with a wearable backpack. His hair has two catches on it, which allow you to clip on his night vision goggles. Uh, while he looks good with the goggles on, when you take them off, he does look a bit strange because of the clips. Uh, all in all, yes, I quite like this minifigure. Not my favourite one of the series I've opened so far, but very acceptable. And the spy is number 14. And there we have them, five figures from series 16. My favourite is the hiker, because of the detailed printing, and I just think it's a really cool design for a minifigure. The others, I like them all, no lemons here. Only a few more I'm really bothered about getting from this series. The Pirate, uh, the Spooky Boy, and the Wildlife Photographer. Should I get any of the others, it's not a problem. I'll just use them for parts for customising other minifigures. When I set out to make this video, I actually had six bags to open, but I lost the sixth one. Possibly that Shopkin dragged it away to hell. If it turns up, I will use it in a future video. But until then, thank you very much for watching, and I will see you again when I can.